Hello and welcome to the i3 screencast. i3 is a tiling window manager. A window manager is that kind of software on your computer which provides window borders and keyboard shortcuts such as Alt Tab. i3 is a tiling window manager, meaning it arranges your windows like tiles on your monitor so that you will never waste any monitor space. After logging into a computer running i3, your screen will look like this. At the bottom left, you have a workspace bar. Workspaces are known as virtual desktops in other window managers. i3 creates new workspaces as you switch to them and destroys empty workspaces when you switch away from them. At the bottom right, the output of a tool called i3 status is shown. It is a lightweight tool to display several system information. Let's open two windows. We will use mostly terminal emulator windows in this screencast, which you can launch using Alt Enter. The windows are arranged to fill your whole screen. They are placed right next to each other because this monitor is wider than high. If we now want to split the current terminal window vertically, we press Alt V and new windows will now be opened below the existing windows. Similarly, press Alt-H to horizontally split a window. This way, you can build arbitrarily complex nested layouts. In practice, most layouts will be simpler. So let's switch to a different workspace using Alt-2 and open four terminal windows like this. You can switch focus by using either ALT and the arrow keys or by using the J, K, L and semicolon keys on the home row of your keyboard. Of course, you don't have to decide beforehand how to split your windows, but you can move windows around afterwards by using ALT SHIFT and the arrow keys or ALT SHIFT and the home row keys. All right, let's have a closer look at the process list. Wouldn't it be great if we could see more of this window at the bottom without closing the other ones? You can change the layout of the whole vertical container to stacking layout by pressing Alt S. You can see that all the title bars are now at the top and we can only see one window at a time. You can switch between the windows by using ALT and the up and down arrows. If the window title bars are not that important for you, or if you are in desperate need of screen space, you can switch to tabbed layout. Now all the window titles are in one single line, like tabs in your web browser, and you can switch between your windows using ALT and the left and right arrow keys. To start a more complex application, let's use Alt-D for D-Menu to launch GIMP. You can see that GIMP's toolbar windows were automatically put into floating mode. You can freely move around and resize floating windows using your mouse. Alright, that's all for this screencast. Please take a look at our website and read the user's guide or come to our ISC channel if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, see you next time.